Hey guys, today I want to show you how to connect to phase failure relay. Uh, it's also known as a phase failure phase reversal or phase sequence relay. The, all that that says is that uh, it checks that all three phases are present as well as that they are the right way around and that none of the phases are reversed so that your pumps will run in reverse or your machinery will run in reverse. So that is all that this relay does. You can see the one on the left is the electro one and the one on the right is the Avanti one. They are both exactly the same, the drawings are the same, they connect the same. I think they are both 400 volt. This one is, yes, that one is also 400 volt, so they are exactly the same. I'm just going to connect the one and we'll see. Okay, these relays all plug into a base. You will need a base for them. This is the base that this one requires. You can count the little pins on the bottom and see which pin base you require. And they all connect the same way. If you look at the drawing, you'll see at numbers 5, 6 and 7 you connect the phases. There you'll see 5, 6 and 7. And then at number 1, 3 and 4, number 1 and 3 is your normally open, number 1 and 4 is your normally closed. So number 1 is your common, and then number 3 is your normally open which I'll use to switch on a relay. Okay, so this is how I connected my phases. Number 5, 6 and 7, I connected my red, yellow and blue. Just remember, this is the 400 volt one. So if your country uses a 340, uh, 230 volt, make sure you get the 230 volt uh, relay. So what I'll use this with is a contactor. I'll get a 400 volt contactor to switch on and off. So what I did now was I just bridged the red live. I just bridged that to number one to my common. So I've got uh, 400 volt at the, at the bottom here as well. And then I'm going to take it from number three, the normally open contact, to my uh, contactor to switch that one on and off and also just one to the other side of the contactor okay so all I did was I connected the blue phase to my A1 and then the red phase I connected to my number one and then the number three the other side of the normally open contact I connected that to the contactors A2 so when you switch the power on You should see the little light go on and then the contact should switch, switch, switch on. If the little light does not switch on, that means that your phases are connected the wrong way around. Okay, so now if you switch the power on, this light should come on. If it doesn't, it means your phases aren't in the right order. That does not mean that the pump is going to necessarily run the wrong way around. If the pump is run, running the, in the right direction, then you just need to change it here. Just change, let's say, the red and the blue wire. It doesn't really matter which one. As long as you change the phases, then the light should switch on. If it's on, then you know it's, it's correct. I've had a few times when, uh, when our electrical suppliers have changed phases and the pumps ran the wrong direction, this little relay should uh, keep that from happening. So uh, if the light turns on, you know it's right. If it's not on, just turn one of the phases around to two other phases, red and the blue phase. Then it switch switch on, it switch switch on your contactor.